Hi, Deborah. For some reason now the comments aren't showing up on my phone. Uh, One more thing to deal with today. There you are. There you're showing up on there now. How are you? Glad you could join me. How's the weather out where you're at? In Texas, is it? We'll give it a few minutes, see if anybody else pops on. Check out this mesh. Isn't it pretty? It has like a green metallic stripes in it. And we got some pretty flowers. With some other little thingamajiggers. And we've got a pretty sign that says spring. And we've got some butterflies. If you're popping on, say hello so we know you're here, please. And we've got some real pretty ribbons to go along with the pretty flowers. And we've got this really pretty striped mesh we're going to be using. And on top we're going to put some snowball mesh over top of that. We are ready to roll. So where's everybody at? Where's everybody from? Do we have dead air space? Or can you guys hear me okay? It says I've got three watching. But yet I'm not getting any comments on my phone. Why is that? There we go. Hi, Jamie from Michigan. How are you? And where's Christine from? And we got Deborah from Texas, Louisiana. I bet you it is so nice and warm down there right now. <laughs> I have a shirt on, a vest on, and a jacket on because I'm downstairs in the lower level and our coal stove isn't on anymore. And boy, that kept it nice and toasty down here. Now it's a little cold. So well, we've got some pretty flowers for tonight. A real pretty sign that says spring. Hopefully my new camera will be here in the next day or two and then you guys will be able to see more of my area and probably not see the signs backwards. <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh, so it is cool there. Okay. I didn't think it would be. Huh. What, have, what do you know about that? And then we got some pretty ribbons. And we got some mesh. We're going to do some ruffles on top of this real pretty 21 inch mesh. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. If everybody else is going to pop in, they'll be popping in. Whenever, or most of them will pop in right before the end because they're waiting to see the puppies. They were a week old today. <laughs> oh, that sounds beautiful, Christine. 81. Oh my gosh. My hands are just so cold. I can't get them warm. One thing I have to go over as part of Facebook now. 
um, on our lives. Below the picture on your screen, there are two buttons or three buttons across the L button, the C button, and the S button. We're not allowed to say those words anymore on a live. So I'm going to refer to them as the buttons below me. <laughs> Please feel free to spread the love and share by hitting any one of those buttons. I just can't say the L word, the C word, or the S word. Why? I don't know. To me, it's crazy, but they have their reason, I guess. And if we say those three words, the L word, the C word, or the S word, we get in trouble. So, please feel free to share the love. Ooh, spread the love. Sorry. I, I'm going to have a horrible time. I'm probably going to get shut down because I've used those words. But it is what it is. All right. We're going to be doing 10-inch poofs on the first layer. I think I'm going to drop it down to 8-inch poofs up top. Just, to, just so it's not so poofy because the flowers are nice and I want them to be shown, so. All right. Everybody have a good weekend? Thank you, Christine, appreciate it. Like I said, I don't know what the reason is, but they're even watching the lives to make sure that nobody says those words. So, go figure. You can say those words. I can't say those words. So. You'll just all be my button pushers. How's that? Did you plant flowers today? Wow. We're getting there. It was warm last week for a little while, and then we got a cold snap again. So I guess it's it'll just make us appreciate it even more when it gets here finally. Busy taking care of the puppies this week. Everybody's gained. Everybody is looking good. I think I've got four of the five sold already. But they'll be with me till July because I don't let them leave until they're 12 weeks old. So. I should probably tilt this down a little, shouldn't I? Does that help? trying to fix it so you can see and like I said hopefully my camera will be here before next week so we won't have to be watching on this small screen I'm trying to look at my computer and then adjust it so you can see it better but there's a little bit of a delay which I better turn the sound off because I don't want double. There we go. All the echoing. All right, so I'm just going to take this right up to the next level. And like I said, we're going to do 8-inch poofs at the next level. Just because did it go out again? Oh my goodness. Hi Brenda, welcome. Hi Lisa. Who else is on? Welcome. Hi Carla. Hey, hey, hey. 
I was just explaining to them, Carla, that we can't use the L word, the C word, or the S word. And then I went ahead and said it anyhow. <laughs> Okay, we did 10 inch on the bottom and now we're doing 8 inch on the top. Isn't that mesh pretty? How's Brenda? How's my puppies, Brenda? Everybody have a good weekend? <laughs> I'm not liking it. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to say that word. Oh, well. I wasn't referring to. I know, isn't that gorgeous? I got it at Sims. I told Dawn I want to move to the parking lot of Sims. <laughs> I want to live there. <laughs> Maybe I could get a job there. My ultimate goal is get a job at Sims. I found out there's a, an American ribbing company here in Pennsylvania in Strasburg. So I want to check that out. Because that's not too far from me. So that would be neat. Tell you what, this mesh is really nice and stiff, that's for sure. It's giving me a run for my money. What if I take it like this? It won't be so hard. There we go. So did everybody have a good Monday? <laughs> I saw your order from Sims. It was neat. I've been a good girl. I've been behaving the last couple weeks, but I'm about due for another order soon. I want to try Bachman's. I don't know. I tried to get one of them to call me today because their website confuses me. But they told me to call them when I'm when I'm ready. So I guess now I gotta call them. Alright, we're gonna trim and tuck under and tie off. I just love that mesh. I think it's gonna go real pretty with the flowers. Alright. Tuck under, tie off. Well, if we win the lotto, we're making a spring wreath, Marty. Oh, at Bachman's now. Me either. Because I think your first order has to be 500. Now I lost my zippy. There it is. Marty, I put up another wreath class just in case you want to make a wreath for your front door. I got a bunch of um, ideas. So if you're interested. Hi, Sherry. And everybody has to congratulate Sherry tonight. She finally adopted her son. It only took like four years, but she adopted. So Amari is now adopted. Party, party. Hello.
Well, I mean, I know everybody tell Sherry congratulations because she has got to be the most patient woman on the earth to wait four years for that adoption to go through. I'm so excited. Is Amari excited? Now you can post pictures all you want. He's yours, baby. No more, no more pictures of the shoes. We want to see pictures of Amari. He's been in foster care and she hasn't been able to share his pictures. And now he is theirs. Now it's time. Post a picture on there. The newly adopted little guy. All right. Now we're going to do, let's do ruffles on the top. This calls for ruffles. We are so happy that he is part of their family for good now. How long was it before, I mean, he lived with them, what, four years, Sherry? If Amari's listening, congratulations, Amari. We're so happy for you. It's my little buddy. He is a sweetie. She wasn't allowed to cut his hair for the longest time either. Because the mother wouldn't allow it. That's crazy, poor kid. Hi, Belinda. Welcome. See, over four years he was in the system. And, and they finally adopted him today. Congratulations. It's a boy. <laughs> He's a handsome little dude. He's a talker. He's got a lot to say to everybody. We put on this mesh, the white with the green metallic stripes. Now we're doing ruffles. We did 10 inch spaces, you know, 10 inch poofs on the bottom layer, eight inch poofs on the top layer. And Sherry adopted Amari today after four years in the foster care system. Awesome. When's the party? <laughs> and then we're doing 20 inch ruffles over top of the white and green mesh. Right? So true, Carla. He is so much better off where he is now. But I'll tell you what, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't agree with all those visits all the time. I think it causes a lot of problems. I know when we were younger, my mother um, had foster children. We had foster children in our home. And it was so hard on them when they would go for their visits and come home because they'd be so confused. We had one little girl. She didn't even have a name. We had to name her. She came straight from the hospital. But that was, you know, that was back in the 60s. So, okay, there's a lot more on here that are saying. So, when you jump on, tell us where you're from. And I was telling the ones that jumped on in the very beginning. The buttons below this picture 
the L button, the C button, and the S button were not allowed to share anymore. Ow, did it again. We're not allowed to say those buttons. So I'm asking for you to spread the love and push those buttons for me. I just can't say those buttons, which I've done twice already. Hi, Goldie, welcome from Ohio. We did 10 inch poofs on the bottom with 21 inch mesh, the white with the green metallic. And then at, on the top layer, we did eight inch poofs. We're now doing 20 inch ruffles all around with the uh, snowball, the 10 inch snowball mesh. Hi Dawn, my business buddy. Dawn's closer to uh, Sims than I am, Carla. For those of you who don't know, Sims is an awesome ribbon mesh warehouse down in North Carolina. I know, right, Marty? Dawn, we were sharing that Sherry finally adopted her son. They finally adopted him today. Four and a half, four years in the uh, foster system. Isn't that awesome? Hi, Cecilia. How are you? I said I'm down here in the basement. I've got a shirt, a vest, and a jacket on because we no longer have the wood stove or the coal stove going and it's cold down here. Thank you, Carla, for using the S button. <laughs> I just wish somebody would explain why they chose that path, not to uh, allow us to say that on a live anymore. I, I just wish somebody would explain that to me. So how many people are here to watch me make a wreath and how many are here to see the puppies? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I thought some of them were going to have a conniption fit last week until they got to see the puppies. They're a week old today. I know, I love the snowball mesh. I use a lot of it. You guys can see okay and hear okay? Hi, Sue. Dawn, look, it's Sue. She's my other business buddy. I got two. I'll recap when I get this one on. We did 10 inch poofs of the 21 inch white and green mesh on the bottom. And then on the top layer, I did eight inch. And then we have, where'd my sign go? There it is, it's hiding. It says spring on it. I think I have one left on my uh, Etsy site. And all my links should be at the top of this post. Then we have these real pretty flowers. And then we have these tails. And these tails. And then we have some yellow butterflies. I think these came from Dollar Tree. And then I don't know, we may want to put some of this on it's stuck to my curtain. So, that's the recap. I'll keep going.
Do you have a Yorkie? Traditional, Cecilia? There's a few of my Yorkie parents on here. I've got a chocolate litter that's due the 15th of May. She's a little under the weather today. She's a little sick. I don't know what's going on. So we're keeping a really close eye on her. The other mom is eating really good and all the puppies are gaining awesome. Hello, Linda from PA. Whereabouts in PA? And if I lose you, please send me a message. Because, boy, Bev had a horrible time today. She kept getting cut off. And she couldn't see the comments. So, Chester County, I know where that's at. I used to live in Bucks County. And I grew up in um, Montgomery County as a young girl. Well, hey, Chrissy from Philadelphia. You know where we're talking about then, I'm sure. I know we got a few cubbies on here. Is there any new cubbies on here? Okay, Carla. Hi, Jean. Welcome. Okay, we got two more ruffles up top, and then we're done our base. I got the green peeking out in places. Yes, I was born in Abington, lived in Willow Grove till the age of 13, moved to Langhorn after that, then moved to um, Lawrenceville, PA then Texas, then back again, and now we're near Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Sue. Hi, Janice. Welcome. We're doing good. Just a little chilled down here in the basement. For those of you just jumping on, the three buttons, the L button, the C button, and the S button, please be a button pusher for me and spread the love because I'm not allowed to say those words. Facebook is, is uh, banning us from saying those words during our lives. So I will have to rely on you guys to spread the love. Not the other L word. All right. I just want to see where this is at. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that going to look pretty? It says spring. Hopefully next week I'll have my new camera and I'll be able to really show the field here. Hello, Joy. Welcome. This was the mesh we used, the white with the, uh, the green metallic. And then we put the... Um, tan snowball mesh on top. Now, I'm thinking I might go ahead and place my sign first. And get all this plastic. I thought I got it all off. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll place the sign first. Then I know where all my tails are going to go. I know where New Hope is, Sue. And it's not that far from Newtown. 
and I used to work at George School in Newtown. It's a private Quaker boarding school. Um, I broke down Dawn and I got Amiibo. I, I'll tell you, the Logitech ones, they just don't compare to the iPhone. And the iPhone is great as far as, um, you know, she, the, it doesn't, what's the word I want to use? The quality is there, but the, um, your line of vision isn't. I know, right, Joy? I love it. In fact, I thought the camera would be here today, but it's not. There was somebody locally selling one, the whole package, but um, I decided, well, I, I contacted Carl because I wanted to see what, what he had, and... Um, he said he only uses the, like, the 199 Mevo, so. And it, it can scan in and scan out, so um, I'm going to give it a try. I tried to go to Best Buy and get them to give me information about it. I had four salesmen looking at me like my head was screwed on backwards. They had no idea what I was talking about. And finally, I said, it's on your website. You sell it. Um, but they said, oh, we don't sell it in the store, but we can order it for you. And I'm like, no. I wanted to see it. I wanted to learn about it. Okay. Welcome, Goldie. Okay. Okay. I went with the, the tan mesh because this sign has some tan in it that's really visible. And I thought that would make everything pop. But give it a nice solid base for the flowers to pop. So. There we go. See? See the brown in there? The tan? Now, I think I have one more of these signs left. It's on my Etsy store. It's in my Etsy store. All right. So now we're going to do... And I, I love these bright colors. Hi, Kathy. They really, to me, really look good with these. Aren't they amazing? I think I got these at Sims. They're the Gerber Daisy Bush. Um, by 12, it's an 18 inch high, but I just thought they were amazing. All right, let's start on our tails. And if you're just popping on, everybody's got to congratulate Sherry. The adoption went through on her son today. We've only been trying for four years to get him out of the foster care system. And it finally went through today. So we are so happy for them and Amare. Can you guys see the wreath okay? Like, there. And can you hear me okay? Pretty and bright. Woo! So there's going to be a party at Sherry's house. Sherry, do you want to list your address so they can all come? <laughs> They would, Marty, but you know what? I didn't have any. So my plan is to put one of the flowers and attach it to the sign to cover up that flower. 
so you're right they would look better but it wasn't going to go with my color scheme and you know me I got to be different you know my stuff's one of a kind I don't want it to look like everybody else's and if somebody else buys the sign that might be what they're going to do with it so and I was going to do a summer wreath and I was going to do a beach wreath and then I was going to do the bike wreath and I decided no I wanted to do this one so we're doing this one We wanted flowers, lots and lots of flowers. So that's what we're doing. And of course, this mesh is attaching itself to everything else on the table. My room's a mess. I'm glad you can only see me in my little area because I haven't done anything down here since those darn puppies were born. So it was time for some wreath therapy. Carla's back. So who's going on Saturday night on Lori's page? Are you and Rita going on it, Carla? Thank you, Sue. I just love this ribbon. I love every ribbon I purchase. <laughs> I know, right? I saw that uh, Bev was having trouble on her live. She kept getting kicked out. Hi, Gwendolyn. Welcome. We use this green and white mesh on the bottom, 10 inch poofs all the way around, then eight inch poofs in the middle, on the top layer, I mean. And then we did 21 inch ruffles over top of the base. And now we're putting in the tails. And I know it has dogwood on the sign. The sign says spring, but we're going to put another flower on top there. Actually, I might have to put a hole in it and pull it through. And there's one left in my Etsy shop, so if anybody's interested, that's where it be. And then we're going to put some of these flowers on. I'll tell you what, when you guys go on there, it's it's a great boost for your business to go on Lori's site. And she also shared it on her YouTube channel, and boy, were, I really got the likes um, on that. Oh, crap. Said the L word. <sighs> Isn't that looking pretty? I know, Gerber daisies are my favorite too. We're just daisying it up. And we're going to put on some yellow butterflies too. I promise I haven't been drinking. <laughs> I'm just a little punchy today. Catching up on sleep. 
trying to. And for what? I got another one due on the 15th, so we're going to have another litter. Thank you, Jean. I haven't gotten that far in my head of where I'm going to place it, but we'll figure it out. You know me. I do better creating on the fly sometimes than I do. I, I overthink it too much. And sometimes I need to just sit back and let it inspire me. How was that one? Was that a good one? Susan, is that Mayan going out and going back in? You sure can, Marty. That's why I set up that um, wreath class for, is it this Thursday or next Thursday? I set one up today. So if you're interested, go in and sign up. <laughs> is she your favorite sister, Marty? Jean needs another wreath anyhow because the birds ate hers. The last one she made here. We need to get rid of the birds. All right, we're down. We're done on the bottom layer, so now we'll start on the top layer. And just making sure, because I'm going to be missing one. Oh, there it is. Not missing. Carla, just keep reminding her, you have to. You have to go on. It'll be well worth it. Believe me. Just ask Carl. Oh, check out those daisies. You think someday they'll have sound on Facebook where we can hear everybody? Excuse me. Shoo! Excuse me again. I sneezed away from the wreath. And today is my son and daughter-in-law's second anniversary. And on the 5th, it'll be my husband and I, it'll be our 30th wedding anniversary. How about that? I know, right, Susan? Maybe somebody needs to come up with um, like another social media platform like FaceTime Lives. Now I probably just gave somebody a million dollar idea and they're going to steal it. Thank you, Sue. Oh, no, wait. Wrong one. Get with the program. I told you I'm punchy. Carla, did you know I have two business buddies? 
Sue's my business buddy and Dawn's my business buddy. This way. Aren't I lucky? I'm loving these colors. Go out and get you some. Look there. Susan, she needs a business buddy. The more the merrier. Right? For those that, of you that don't understand, in Lori's group, um, we have business buddies. And usually, you only have one business buddy. But we thought, what the heck... Why not have two business buddies? So look at that. I hid that under that one, and then I'll finish off with this one. Yeah. Look at that, Susan. Dawn will be your business buddy, too. Why not? You can never have enough business friends. Okay, tails are on. Are we all straight here? Yep. Yep. Right? So how's that looking so far? Who did Bob Dawn? All right, I had it upside down, didn't I? <laughs> There's the spring sign. Now, remember what I said, I wanna somehow get rid of that white flower on there. So, I think the yellow one would look best on there. So, we're gonna punch a hole in the sign if I can find my hole punch, there we go. And we're gonna put the yellow one through there. Or no, what did I say? Yes, the yellow one. Well, get out the right pliers and I'll be doing good. All right. Thank you, Marty. I'm sorry, girl, I know you like the, there. Well, it's going to be off-center a little bit. Come on. What the hay? There we go. Now watch it not be big enough. Nope. Let's see if we can get some of this off there. I don't see why not, Sue. I think that's an awesome idea. Who said you have to have one? Not. Well, the hole needs to be bigger, so I'm going to have to punch another hole right next to it. And make the hole bigger. Come on. See. There we go. Accomplished. Whoop, whoop. All right. Now, the 
going to get rid of the leaf because that's keeping it from going down. And Okay. How's that look so far? I may have to uh, take the bottom thing off and just glue it into the hole to get it to where I want it. But I'm liking it. It says spring. We're springing into spring. All right, now I do want to put a bow on it, and I think I'm going to put the bow right about here. Okay, so. Now we'll place some flowers. So what I will do, I also have some of these little bally things that um, I can place around too. So let's just cut up some flowers. And you know what? I cannot do this sitting down. As hard as I try, there. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. All right. So right now I'm just kind of placing some flowers where I think I want them to go. Now that's where I said I was going to put my bow. So. And I still have some butterflies, too. So, let's get another green one. Gerber daisies. Aw, thanks. You guys are awesome to come on and hang out with me. I'm just not sure what I want to do with these. Well, that doesn't look bad there, but it's awful close to that one. So my bow's going to go here. So maybe, maybe that will go up there. And where'd I put my butterflies? Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty on the orange? <gasps> oh, I'm loving it. Now, let's get some more on here. Let's flower it up. Let's go for it. Uh, my bow's going there, right? So... I don't know if I want to do one or if I want to do like a bunch together. What do you guys think? Bunches of three? <laughs> do you think like a bunch of three? Like that? I think that looks good. I'll put one over here, a bunch of three. I think bunches are better. I definitely do. I'm just trying to get them to stick together and then kind of lay together there. And then like put a butterfly in the middle of the bunches. What? Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. How's that looking so far? And then what do you think? I put the bow over here. I'll do a third bunch. I'll do a third bunch right up here and put the bow right here. Oh, I'm cooking with juice.
Sometimes it just takes me a while to wake up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Over here. And then I have three butterflies. So we'll put a butterfly in each bunch. Look at that, ladies. Is that not beautiful? Oh yeah. How's that looking? And then we'll do a bow over here. And then I have um, the, well that's a white, that's not a green. I have green tubing and I have orange tubing. All right, so let's put this aside and get our bow made. I think that's it, ladies. Spring has arrived. Now if I wanted to, no, I like that. I like that. Nope, not changing it. Marty, I got two for your wreath. <laughs> now, we'll use these four for the tails. Okay, but, aw, oh, thanks, Susan, thank you, aw, oh, thank you. I think we're going to add this at the end, because I think that'll really bring it all around. So, I will start with the orange. You know what? Well... I like my Lisa bows, but my Lisa bows always look kind of funky. I think I'm going to use this bow maker. All right. Need some wire. <laughs> I seriously, that's all I have, Marty. But I got a huge order of other um, flowers in. We got all kinds of flowers, Marty. We can, we can spruce yours up, make yours look different. Thanks, so. Sue. All right. So. I wish Carla was here helping me make my bow. I'm, I know what I need to do. I need to take it on this side. There we go. Now go back to the way you were. Nope, has to go around this. Just bear with me. There we go. There. And then this goes over to here. Now I'm just going to put this through the middle. I'm a rebel. I don't do it the way they do it. <laughs> Didn't you know that, Tammy? <laughs> we cheat. I got uh, critiqued by a local person. And she said, your booze look handmade. I mean, they don't look handmade. So, I guess she doesn't like handmade bows. I mean, bow maker bows. I get it. That's okay. Alright, put that up there. Next. Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead with this. I'm going to do a small, a wide, a small, and a wide. What the heck? 
I'm going to be on the wild side tonight. Are you with me? Yeah. And your bows are always beautiful, Carla. I got to spend more time watching your lives and watch you make them. Up I do. lose the darn pins. Oh. We'll find them later. I'll be there, baby. Just tell me what time. I gotta make sure I'm, I'm set up to be notified. See, a lot of times I watch from my phone and my phone won't let me use the S button. You know that button? The one we're not allowed to say? So I can't even do that for other people because I'm always watching from my phone because I'm always in the middle of something. Watched you open your stuff yesterday. That was pretty cool. Is that the new one that's out, Sue? I know. I did too, right? I'm with you, Dawn. Now, the question is, do I do two rows of this or do I, I add another? row of a different color. Um, hmm. Should I add this after the green? What do you think? You think two of this? Well, I'll put one, and then we'll see. I haven't even used this one yet.
two of the green. Dawn. There. I had to get my wire under it. No. All right, we'll go with two. We are living on the wild side. fluff box. Which my husband made me for Christmas. Now, I'm going to also Well, I'll wait. I sometimes have trouble gripping it, so I'm going to try and get it a little tighter. Oh, look at that green. That's going to look so cool. Dovetail. And that's not a very even cut. There. Better. I know the green really makes it pop, doesn't it? It's going to grow, go really nice with the sign, too. All right. Okay, what was next? The orange. I'm loving it. No, Tammy, you just watch one of us. You don't need to take the class. You could do this. All right. Then we got this one. It's a matter of going through your layers, putting your fingers in here, and poofing it. Boy, this daisy um, ribbon is really, really uh, stiff. That's going to hold up nice. Put this over here. over here Oh, 
All right, do some bows on Wednesday. Go for it, Carla. And that look pretty. Look at those colors. That is gorgeous. All right. Now. Get the bow on here. Well, thank you. has to be up a little more needs to be right in there there's two flipping on the side all right let's move it up I'm trying not to cover the sign I'll have to manipulate it a little to get it in the area I want but then pull it down so it doesn't overwhelm the sign Thank you. Good idea, Carla. When is it? Wednesday? Y'all go over and like Carla's page, isn't it? One, one stop, one, what's the name of your business page? One, sh one shop boutique, is that it? Yeah, you don't have to make a wreath on your live. One stop boutique, the one stop boutique. Oh my gosh, I'm just loving these colors. Of course, I'll I'll get this glued in place. And but how's that looking so far? Can y'all see it? I got the comments up here, but I don't have the screen. There, let's move it. That way, I can see where I'm at. Okay, it needs to come closer. that spring has sprung all right and then we'll do the tubing I got orange and green tubing so we'll go around and put tubing on all around the bottom layer we'll do that green now I buried my scissors there they are all right And then we'll be done. Except for some finishing touches, which I'll do later. Oh, loving this. I just love the colors. Now, see, I can see that hopefully my new camera will take care of some of this. Really? Then I'll be able to go on my do my lives on YouTube. Because they won't, YouTube won't allow you to use your iPhone to do your lives. Unless you have a thousand followers. Well, thanks.
<laughs> Poor Jean came to my wreath class, made a beautiful wreath, took it home, put it on the door, and the birds tore it apart. See, and that looking pretty. Okay, now we need orange. And I turned on my glue pot because I was going to glue this stuff, but I'll, I'll glue it tomorrow. I'm still finishing the camping wreath I did last week. I'm hoping to get that done tomorrow. And then I'll get this one done and post it. Anybody that lives near New York or Pennsylvania or Ohio, is anybody going to the, uh, the um, wreath gala in September? Scott Waterman's going to be there. There's a bunch of people that are going to be there. I'm going. Got my ticket. in Rochester, New York. Yeah, that would be pretty. And you know what? I got... Where is it? Check this out, Carla. Perfect. If you're doing red and yellow. Now I can't get it back in. Like I said, I had other plans for today, but I think this, this, this was it. I needed to do this. I needed this color in my life. Problem is, I love my wreaths so much, I cry when they leave. <laughs> I cried when my flamingo wreath left. I put my heart and soul in that one. Dawn, I used to do craft shows a lot. And I'll tell you, in this area, there's so much competing going on that I, I've done them for so many years with so many products that I just, I just don't want to go to another one. You sit there all day, you drag your stuff all out, and then you have people coming by snapping pictures because they're going home and they're going to make the same thing. So maybe someday I'll do something with the wreaths, but for now, I'm fine not. I think I'm going to put some green here and some, I don't know. There goes my butterfly. Or maybe, no. I think it just needs like a little green tubing right there. What you think, ladies? Well, welcome from California. Glad you could join us.
And now, put some orange there too. Where I don't have flowers, I'm just going to put tubing. And that'll all get glued, well, you know what I'm saying, secured down. I'll do the shake test. Nothing will come off. There, put my little. And then... Green. Okay, what do you think, ladies? We are done. All right, thanks, Carla. All right, I'll secure the rest of it offline, and then I'll post a picture when it's all done. And if anybody wants the sign, there's one more in my Etsy shop. Okay? All right, now this is what I got to do. In order to take you, because there's some that want to see the puppies, so, what I have to do is I have to take the computer with me and my iPhone um, because I can't see what questions you're asking. So, thank you, Sue. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, everybody. All right, so there were some that still wanted to see the puppies. Am I, am I right in saying that? Thank you. There she is, all pretty. All right. So as you don't get dizzy, I'm going to put the phone down on top of my laptop. And I'll just talk as I'm going up. If you hear a crash, call 911. <laughs> but this way, I'll still be able to read your comments and you'll be able to see them. Because I think four of the five are already sold. Alright. Now. Where to place the computer. Alright. Alright. Can you guys see them? See little chunky monkeys? It's okay, Casey. It's okay. I gotta just look to see what I'm showing you. Let me get my computer working. Here. There we go. There's a delay, so... Come here, stay here. This is, let's see, this one is Mr. Gray. He was the tiniest. Yeah, say hi, everybody. Say, I'm Mr. Gray. And then here's Miss Yellow. Say hello. Oops, she's going to be a wiggler. Okay, and then here's Mr. Tan. It's okay, buddy. There's no water involved. You don't have to swim. There's Miss Pink. Maybe her mama's watching. Tell them. 
tell him you're a big girl. Yeah, and then where's Miss Peach? No, that's Mr. Gray again. Where are you, Miss Peach? That's Michelle. Where'd she go? Where's Miss Peach? That's Miss Pink. Here she is. There's Miss Peach. Yeah, tell them hello. Tell them you're all doing really, really good. I'll try and get your questions pulled up so I can answer any of them you might have. Sorry if I'm moving the camera around too much. Yes, puppy breath. <laughs> yep, Yorkies. Aw. Yeah, I've been documenting everything that I'm doing with the moms, etc. on uh, YouTube with this litter because there seems to be a lot of interest in what I do behind the scenes, so... But that's it. They're going to get something to eat right now. So. Oh, neat. I bet you that's a big dog, Susan. They're all just doing really good. They're nice and chunky and warm. Now, this is week one. So next week, Monday, their eyes should start opening. And then the following week, their ears should start opening. Tell them. See, I'm a good girl. Where's your mama? Is your mama watching? I don't think she's watching. All right, everybody. I'll see you next Monday. Have a good night. And thanks for share, uh, pushing the L button, the C button, and the S button. <laughs> I almost said it again. Thank you very much. All right, good night.